and uh, now we talk about progressive yield now some uh, economists and foresters they contested that sustained yield has to evolve because it is for a stagnant society as the population uh, is increasing and uh, you know this uh, there is a, a rise in the prices uh, day by day so we have to take that into consideration because sustainable will not be able to feed or uh, cater to the ever increasing population so we have to think of progressive yield so the principle of progressive yield envisages that a forest should be so exploited that the annual or periodic fellings do not exceed the annual or periodic growth as the case may be so how how is it different from the sustained yield Sustainable is therefore uh, expressed as the allowable cut which may differ a, a little from the increment that is gross increment minus natural loss of fire epidemics etc depending on the grow, growing stock and distribution of age classes. Now uh, we have to understand the difference between the two the progressive yield has to increase every year if in the first year we got an uh, uh, we got a yield of 10 i uh, as in the previous diagram so we have to take care that this yield is increasing so we have to try we try to get 11 i in the next year and 12 i in the uh, third year it has to go on increasing to serve the purpose prerequisites for now we're talking again talking about Sustained yield, uh, its scope and its limitations. Sustained yield can be achieved by maintaining a complete succession of equal areas of crops of all ages. So this is how we have done it. Uh, each coop here, coop uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 has an area of 1 hectare and the crop has been planted sequentially in every year so this scoop in the first year this is in the second year this is in the third year this is in the fourth year so you can see the volume and the uh, is uh, going on increasing from years 1 to 10 if we maintain if the species has a rotation of 10 years now practically this 10 years may be replaced by any other uh, species having a rotation of 20 years say 30 years or 60 years so the diagram in that case will change so I already told you uh, you know the 10 year old wood the 10 year old wood this one this mature wood represents the increment on the whole forest now once we in the 10th year we take this harvest of this scoop as increment it represents increment from the whole forest because this has also contributed i this has contributed i this has contributed i this has contributed i this has contributed i each year this has contributed as i so once we add them one two three four these these dotted uh, squares one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so this ultimately is taken as harvest from the 10th coop because that is mature we can't take individual harvest from individual groups coops uh, wherein the crop is not mature so on behalf of these increments we take increment from the 10th increment which is 10th uh, uh, coop which is ready to be harvested i hope you got how we uh, the actually the increment is contributed from all the coops but on behalf of all those coops the increment is taken from the mature coop so this is all about uh, the sustained yield concept. Thank you.